Ben Affleck's most overlooked movie of the past five years is a must-watch now that it's on Amazon Prime. Now that it's streaming on Amazon Prime Video, Ben Affleck's most underrated movie in recent years can finally find the bigger audience it deserves. Though he's had some ups and downs, Ben Affleck has managed to maintain impressive longevity in his career since making his acting debut as a child in the 80s. In the 30-plus years since, the two-time Oscar winner has starred in some top-tier movies, often alongside his best friend and collaborator, Matt Damon. In addition to acting, Affleck has also established himself as a well-respected director, screenwriter, and producer. So far, the 2020s have been somewhat hit or miss for Affleck's career. He kicked off the decade with the critically panned The Last Thing He Wanted, but made up for it by returning as Batman the following year in Zack Snyder's Justice League. In 2023, Affleck delivered, and starred in, his fifth directorial feature, Air, to high praise from critics and audiences alike. Another one of Ben Affleck's best movies from the 2020s is still criminally underrated, though, but now that it's streaming on Amazon Prime Video, it can finally get the attention it deserved when it first released. In 2020, Affleck reunited with the accountant director Gavin O'Connor to star in the sports drama The Way Back. Affleck plays Jack Cunningham, a former high school basketball star struggling with alcoholism as an adult. After his drinking ruined his marriage, Jack gets a second chance to get back on the right path when he is recruited to coach the basketball team at his alma mater. Affleck's personal understanding of the demons his character in The Way Back was facing brought a level of authenticity to his performance that shines through on screen. The Way Back received widespread acclaim for its realistic and harrowing portrayal of the effects of alcoholism. Several reviews of The Way Back highlighted how Affleck's raw, compelling performance as the troubled Jack Cunningham was heightened by the actor's personal experiences with addiction. Though The Way Back is not based on a true story, the film heavily mirrors Affleck's real-life struggles with alcoholism, for which he'd recently received treatment at the time after relapsing. Affleck's personal understanding of the demons his character in The Way Back was facing brought a level of authenticity to his A performance that shined through on screen. Despite its many strengths, The Way Back only made $15.5 million at the box office on a $23 million budget, via the numbers. Other than Kevin Smith's Clerks 3 in 2022, which featured a small Affleck cameo, The Way Back remains Affleck's lowest earning theatrical release so far this decade. This may seem surprising given Affleck's star power and the positive reception from audiences reflected by the identical 84% audience and critics scores for The Way Back on Rotten Tomatoes. However, The Way Back's lack of commercial success was largely circumstantial.